Welcome everyone to the hundred and ninety fifth. Yeah. Oh wait, fifth? Are we are we there yet? I don't uh, know. Let me check. I can check. I should which probably Pokemon keep one are we on L D. We're one ninety five. <laughs> We're only five away from our big event, which this means crazy. Oh. Stay you tuned. What that should be. <laughs> we probably won't be critiquing that week on a regular time. We're talking about maybe eating up uh, one of our precious days on a weekend to just roll through this thing, doing silly things, yeah. hanging out. I don't know. Maybe... Big old fun art day, you know, because yeah. we don't have to critique all the time on the critique stream. We also don't have to draw two hundred ponies on the Aggie if you know we're going to be too stressed by that. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> We, we'll, we'll talk. We salute anyone who was there for the hundredth. <laughs> we might take requests from people to draw. We might do eggy. We'll figure something out. If you guys got yeah. ideas, fire them our way. We'll figure stuff out. Heck, we might totally. even do more than one thing. Yeah. Like, we'll our make... Requests, art games, art sillies. Totally. We'll just play video games and do a live let's play. No. Totally. No. We can all play Passpartour. Pass I don't know what that is. It's Media. Starving Artist Simulator. It's great. It sounds <laughs> um, relatable. Like a thing. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So let's do this. Uh, today, we got three pictures lined up. We're going to start off with Gallons because, hey, they're in the chat. So word up, that. Gallon. Word up to your cookies. Let's see if they respond. We haven't heard from them yet in the chat. We also if you can hear us, post a cookie. <laughs> Just because we're hungry. Cookie. Uh, we also got this eggy going, which is a theme of blank. That's a cookie. That's a cookie. That's a cookie. I got a cookie. It's a cookie, folks. All right, Gallon. Cookie time. Uh, now that we've confirmed the the deliciousness. You got any questions in particular on this picture? Your post says, hello, I was going to delete this halfway through making it, but decided to make it more like a sketchy concept painting. Just wanted to create an atmosphere so that was uh, more of a focus. Can you tell what time during the day it is? Does the painting create good atmosphere and composition? What time is the day? sunset because it's more of an orangey, less mm -hmm. of a goldy. It's like a magic hour of sunset. Like when yeah. that perfect shade of orange comes through yeah. and it like so lasts all five minutes. Sunrise, I feel like, is often more like, gold, like everything's a bit more yellowy and gold. It's got that sort of morning feel, a bit of air. I don't know. <laughs> maybe, maybe. I feel like I feel like the sun is the same no matter what, but <laughs> maybe it's something to do with air temperature. And I don't know. I'm feeling Moisture. a little more morning because of the yellow sky behind. Hmm. Fair. Oh yeah, I do definitely um, agree with the sort of atmosphericness of this piece. Like it, it really. It, you, you. I love the idea of you just like experimenting. It's being like I'm just gonna, you know, maybe I wasn't going for my original goal. You know, maybe I haven't achieved that, but I'm just gonna make the most of this and do something interesting and new. And I think that's worth congratulating. Mm -hmm. really A lot of learning and art is play. Get dirty. Yeah. <laughs> totally. Experiment. You're all scientists now, despite being in the arts. Mm. Haha, gotcha. I like how the character pops out from the sky in the background. The mountains really look in the distance because of the sort of, like, low texture detail you've got. It's just, they're just, like, very painterly, and that makes them look sort of in the distance as opposed to the pony being much sharper. So what you're telling me is the textures haven't loaded in yet, so we're just getting the low quality <laughs> textures? Yes, it's the, draw, it's the draw distance. Oh and god. We, our pens can only reach so far in our arms to draw those things in, okay? I think I think my favorite... <laughs> I think my favorite part about um, your lighting is actually the colors you use to color the body. Um, I don't know, it just, it feels really nice, it feels really, like... It feels like everything fits together, like, because Rainbow Dash is this really bright blue, right? But you made her still feel like Rainbow Dash, but be affected by the environment, you know? It's like she's in this time. She's with the mountains. And I know that sounds really weird and like, ooh, she's just uh, talk, whatever. But no, it just <laughs> feels like that. She feels a part of the piece, despite being the only thing in the foreground. And usually that's pretty hard to do. 
yeah, like I, like I said, like she she pops in the background, but you're right as well as well. Like at the same time, she stands yeah. out and isn't visually bleeding into the background. Yeah. But at the same time, she doesn't feel like she's been photoshopped on there. Exactly. So good balancing is what we're saying. Um, as opposed to like anything critique worthy, like I'm, I'm sorry we're not doing much like redlining on this, but like I don't really see much of anything that sort of stands out. I mean, I, feel I think like, I'm not sure if there's like so you can go while I'm experimenting. So I was just gonna poke at the legs, but I'm not even sure if there is a problem. Oh, it's just me. You can go. Oh, um, no, it's it's more yeah. of a nitpick. I'm thinking is maybe don't have the wing go off the screen. It's almost so weird that that's the only thing that gets cut off on her body. It, it, like I said, it's more of a subjective thing. Um, I'm trying to think compositionally. It's kind of like our eyes drawn to follow the wings, so we're kind of just following like almost down the mountains and off the picture. Her head is enough to capture. But um, I would I would almost just like you have so much wing there already. It's almost just like the littlest bit cut off. It feels like just get it all in there almost, you know. <laughs> but like it, like I said, subjective critique. If you like it that way, go for it. It's just something I think it would. You get the full picture. She's like not cut off in any way. So I always feel like the legs. If I just turn this. I can't. Uh, I guess I'll have to erase what I... Oh, I can't. Okay. <laughs> um, yeah, I feel like the, the legs sort of like went this way first, and then went this way, and then this way, and then this way. I feel like that's like too many stopping points, so I just like removed a joint. If that makes sense. I'm not sure it's completely perfect, but there we go. <laughs> I mean, if we're following horse anatomy... Um... The joints are like up here to here, yeah, to here to here. It's just, it's, it was, here the there was just like something that looked a little bit sort of like too wibbly wobbly back and forward to me. Um, I'm not really sure what it is exactly. Maybe it's something to do with the lighting. I think it's I think it's that joint this um this overlap right here. I, I know it's under what you yeah. have drawn, but like how it's kind of like a smooth curve into it instead of a harder. Like it, almost the definition of it, it's it's too defined. They should probably flatten it out not flatten it um make it more cylindrical and less of an indent yeah. yeah now we can look at <laughs> yeah like we have the the joint here but there's no real indent here besides this inward flux so it feels mm. it feels a little odd like we're almost looking at two different things like we want to see it go like this but we're also seeing it go like like that because of the strong line we have right here so we're missing out on like almost wanting to get that extra jump in Ooh, that's not what I want magic box appeared dance magic dance wait <laughs> And I think, um, otherwise, yeah, this is really nice. And the only other thing I would slightly poke a little more, I know it's hard to get through motivation. And I think, I still think this piece is lovely, but if you push to refine the hair a bit more, not like super refined, but right now that's just very blocky compared to the body. Mm -hmm. And it, the, the way it sticks out in the background makes it feel more like it's just been erased away. So you get that hard edge if you're to soft, Feather the edge a bit, you'll probably get there. Mm -hmm. Should I figure out what was wrong with my thing? You got any further questions on this one, Gallon? You actually don't have to do anything else on it. <laughs> yeah, no, no, this is just for future critique. Critique's one of those things that, like, oh, okay, I see what they're talking about, or, like, I see what they're talking about, I understand it, but I don't want to do it next time, or I want to try that next time, or it doesn't have to be to, if you're done with this, please be done with it, you know? We figure about 90% of the art we get, you know, dart thrown at wall for number there, but I figure about 90% of the art we get, 
never takes in account on that picture the critique we give because they've already moved on. Mm-hmm. And that's fair because usually by the time I'm asking for a critique on a picture, it's already closer to a finished state and I'm not going to go back and correct those unless if it's a very glaring error that I missed. Mm-hmm. And we go, cool, remember next time. Or it's like, your horses all look like butts. What do you mean? Oh, no, they all look like butts! Uh... <laughs> oh, no, Zom, you're just drawing peaches. They're not horses at all. <laughs> Alright, we're going to move yeah. on. I love seeing your art, Galen. Glad to see you rewarding again. Do more art. No, if you're up to it. I can't really speak. Yeah. I haven't drawn anything in, like, three or four you weeks. You do that thing the other week. Two weeks ago, the cute thing. Oh yeah, no? the yeah the pit the painting. Yeah, I guess that was a thing. All right, two weeks, two and a half weeks. I don't know. Oh, I want to boot them. Duh. Oh, I like the crying one. It's very expressive. I I really like the Big Mac. <laughs> Blush. I like the one next to Big Mac. I like the hair flow. Bedroom eyes. <laughs> All right, so this next picture is by Insidious. Uh, this is something, just something I drew. This is something you just drew. Uh, okay. Is that it? That's it. Yep. That's it. All right. I was looking for anything else on there, but nope, that was the limit of them. Well. Um, I'll say PSA as always. I think now that when we ever get a picture that doesn't have questions, we like to kindly remind: please leave questions. You know, um, critiques about a convers crit critiques like a conversation. We need to know what you need help with, even if you are just kind of like, well, I just want general critique. Mm, challenge yourself. Be like, okay, I want general critique, but I had extra hard time with blank, or I want to be better at blank, or you know, just um. Give give us a direction, and that'll help us help you, at least as best as we can. Yes, so that's yes. all we can do. So, okay, there's love the main first of all. Like you've got lovely volume and overlap and flow going on, which I, I do super like. You've, especially like I love this little trick here of, uh, sort of creating volume and overlap by having two separate parts hiding behind one another. Mm -hmm. First thing that jumps out to me with this picture is the fade on the ears, just like makes it totally blend in with the main because they're, this, they're virtually the same color. Mm -hmm. uh, and I can tell that they're a little bit different color, but at least I think they are. Let me just color pick this and yeah. No, they're exactly the same color. <laughs> um, I guess it's just the, the sort of white falling my eyes there. Um, but it's really it's really not not good to use a, sim oops, a similar or the same color for something like this because it just really stops the ears from being defined. And yes, they're, they're separated by outline, but like that just really really lowers the visual uh readability of a picture and what that means is just like how quickly people are able to see what's going on when they look at the picture or if you look at it from a distance like looking at a thumbnail um and it just doesn't help to have these parts i i used to have like the the coloring like especially on the legs i think it works well with the hooves and this sort of like panda like coloring there but with the ears i would say just keep them white especially with the main the way it is only reason i'd say, the only way around this i would say if you wanted to keep the ears black would be get, make the main a different color like make it sort of like a light color like a light lavender or something pastel to like complement the the whites and blacks that would go really nicely um i tell you not because i actually have a panda who so who is my that hair but <laughs> mm -hmm. but uh usually the ears and i mean i guess they can't have like colorings on them it's usually not just like a straight fade like this i don't think unless it's like a furry oc more than a pony but I don't know what I'm talking about, really. <laughs> I would just see them be white. You can maybe have like a little bit of a tip of a different color or a different shade or something going on there, but it just sort of it 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 hurts the readability. It's basically my critique. I would agree mostly with Fluffy, but I think uh, the the ears definitely see part seem part of the character, as you said, panda like. Um, I would just lighten them up a lot like turn them to a softer yeah. gray you yeah, still get the a different tone could work exactly the the idea of the fade works great it, without muddying the image you still have clear defined separation 
I'm just gonna experiment because I feel like also possibly just having like oh, we combine it today. It's like maybe it's not the same time, maybe it's like a little bit lighter. I'm gonna pick like a grayer here. Um having something of a just like a tip to the ear rather than being a fade might make it look a bit more natural. Maybe a bit darker than that, I don't know, but just something to add some like life to the design. I see what you're going for. Um, but I, I honestly feel like the white ear isn't really that bad. Um, if we just stick with it being simple, uh, we have like, have like some little spots going on or something. I don't know. <laughs> it's always worth experimenting with. Or you could have like one ear, I mean, you can't see it here because the um, the character has. I guess it would be pointless because the character has their main covering their face anyway. But like, if we imagined not having the main there. And you had like one ear black and one ear white, and then look over their face. They got like, they got like, uh, the, just, you know, like, they just got like, like one like sort of black half, like a panda. But then, um, that would be kind of what the main is doing anyway. So, <laughs> ah, draw piles being really weird now. There we go. I don't know, just some suggestions, but you do, you don't have to listen to any of this at all. It's just uh. <laughs> speculation and opinions a lot of art is just that <laughs> mm -hmm. exactly and you know your own speculation your own opinions are very important too for your own art so we're just we're just here to help you sort of see different perspectives yeah speaking of perspective it's totally <laughs> hard to draw back legs at this perspective um but I think the the main problem with the way you have the back legs overlap, like here, let me just erase what I've drawn. Right now, the way it's overlap, it's reading to me that the legs are very short. Like, um, if I were to turn this as a side view, it almost feels like the legs are like this. Really itty bitty species legs. Because of the way this is overlapped, it doesn't give me much depth. Um, so, and also it's overlapping, like the hoof is overlapping the, the knee there, that thigh. Uh, so I'm trying to think how to picture that in side view. It's, it's almost like, so it's like this, like this whole chunk here is, is the, the bottom part of the leg. An easy fix for that is just changing the overlap. So instead of having it go up into the, the knee, we we have it squish we have it squished together like that, and then we can. It, it's like because when you look at uh like, I'm trying to think if you look at how your elbow works, the inside of your elbow when your two arms come together that's how, that's how those legs meet you know they're being squished together and it kind of, it makes like an even line plus also uh like a little bump like the bottom part squishing up against it they're both. Have a lot of squish. Ponies are squishy. They're made of marshmallows. They have squishy creatures. They squish. So just kind of like having that interaction, making that like, moosh. Oh, look, they all interact in moosh and squish and can feel a lot more natural and help that foot be a lot nicer. We can also turn it out a little bit. It's hard. I need a. I need a. Um, what's it called? Reference. References are great. Steal other people's art. Oh no, no, no. <laughs> Stealing art skill is not what we. It's a joke. <laughs> you eat. You eat the paper of your favorite artist to gain their art skill. It's, it's cool being an art vampire. <laughs> but I don't yeah. want to eat your art. You. You gotta. You gotta eat your whites, eat. mister. <laughs> like eating your vegetables. Yeah. <laughs> uh, where should I add shadows if I made this? Oh, yeah. As Gallon says, depends on the light source, definitely. Um. I zoned out for a second. Did anyone expand on that? Hmm? The, little... the lights. Are, yeah, I mean, it all depends where the the lights are coming from. Uh, it's as simple as that. If if it was coming from, say, let me just get a yellow. 
if it was coming from over here, then the lights are shining that way. So you'll you'll get lights on the hair and the ear, the side of the body. You know, these are the really harsh areas where it'll get lit. Get lit, um, fam. Wait. <laughs> if it was from behind, then a lot of the front would be in shadow, but you'd get like a nice little ring light behind everything. Or if, you know, it was lit directly in... Ooh, I'm on the same layer, oh no. If I was lighting from the front, you'd tackle, you know, those kind of things where... Mm -hmm. You, you want to think of it as planes. Like, if I were to draw a box, that's not any more of an angle on that box. If I were Drawbox. It's a great website. You should all Google Drawbox. It's uh, very informative. If I were to draw a box like that, and the light was like right in front of it, so this would be the brightest part. You'd get a little less bright up here, and then this would be the darkest part since it's the furthest way from the light. So so that's the the reason we're struggling with the question is because it's very very general um mm -hmm. uh, sh getting shadows and lighting down can be a very complex and uh, annoying thing to get through uh it's somewhat easy to start just throwing down highlights and shading but often there'll be uh inaccuracies in how it's dropped uh, it takes a lot of experience and a lot of study to get to the point where you're dropping mostly realistic shadows there's a really good book and I'm yeah i'm sure there are many no but there's like one that like is like every artist shares and knows this book and it's like the book yeah. for lighting um I remember part of it. It's got like a picture of a bird on it. Bird. <laughs> yeah, I don't, I don't recall its name. I don't even recall my own name. Who am I? I have it on my computer, but I don't have it in book form. You should buy it in book form. I, sh I would love to. I would love to have all the art books. I'm slowly. Do you think we would all have all the references if we could? Yeah. <laughs> I'd have a library, goddammit. <laughs> Would it be in a tree? An oak tree? No, that sounds very humid and filled with bugs. Why would you do that to books? <laughs> <laughs> Aha! Color and Light. It's literally called Color and Light, a guide for the realist painter. Mm. And yes, it teaches realism, but... But... It's just to, it's how you learn anything. Like, you look at a tree to learn how to draw a tree. It's not that you have to draw a tree exactly in realism, but to know and understand how to draw a tree, you still need to know what a tree looks like. So, before anyone gets, gets it all, I'm scared of it. It's just a part of learning an art, just like anything else. All right, let's move on to the next picture. Uh, as a brief interlude as we scroll over. Remember, there is a Eggy going on. Feel free to hop in and doodle away. It is a group doodling platform where everyone gets to draw. Goal is to not destroy other people's pictures, but interact and have fun with them if you can. Yes. Um, that is horrifying. <laughs> Fluffy. <laughs> Are they going to slap you with that critique video? <laughs> It's my power. I, I only have one superpower, and it's that to just angrily so post have, have, have KT join Stranger Source, stopping flags on everyone. <laughs> All right, this picture is by Spooky Boy. Spook. Fluffy, Fluffy, this mm -hmm. isn't the ASMR channel. Enjoy. <laughs> it's just very chewy in my ears. <laughs> Spooky Boy. Uh, not hashtag not safe for work followed Equestria. Uh, oh, that's worth them. Yeah, they 
they post okay spooky boy heads up you posted this three times you didn't say anything on any of them we removed two of them because posting it three times is redundant Mm -hmm. um so that's why two of them disappeared um this well this is not safe for work we're gonna go ahead and do it because it's not so not safe for work that i wouldn't be willing to have this up in a house around you know 10 year olds every five year old's gonna see the headless horseman it's fine it's fine (laughs) gi joe we decided it's pg enough (laughs) all right so pg enough pg like PG thirteen. They're they're allowed the one swear word. <laughs> no, not a Pokemon thing. <laughs> I think the original Pokemon was reclassified to PG thirteen. No, I was making a Pidgey joke. Oh, So yeah, this picture. It appears to be a horse having their head blown off. From they really just look surprised, honestly. Revolver. Yeah. They just look like then they weren't sure the day was going to go this way. Well, one day you're just walking down the street and you just lose your head over something. Mm-hmm. I am not fully sure where to go with this picture. The The neck is extremely long, and I think it's made extremely long because the legs have been elongated with it. Um... I mean, we're off to a good start by removing the head so we can bring it down a bit. So we're going to take this head that is now nicely removed by the artist for us. We're going to take it. Oh my gosh, we never <laughs> so able to do this. Uh, I need to go to the proper layer, though. I'm gonna take yeah, I do the think head. the neck's okay if, you don't, if the legs didn't look super duper stretchy. You might be onto something with that. I still think bringing it down to about half the width or half the length of the legs is probably a good call. Yeah. Right about here is about half. So I would lop off a chunk of that neck, reseat that head, and then we can blow it off again so it so there's <laughs> not quite as much neck hanging around there. Um I also noticed that the 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 line that you've created on your neck here is quite a bit thinner than the line that from the rest of the neck. It's as though it lost a lot of volume in that head. Um, just make sure to keep those consistencies there because it will be awkward when the picture gets further rendered uh, if it's you know oddly thinner for no reason. Um, not quite sure what's going on with the main. Uh, I see like two different main things going on here. We got like a spike up here, maybe. And Some then sort of mohawk, fluffy mm-hmm. hair, or possibly out of smoke. Without the artist being here, uh, I'm not quite sure how to work on this a bit further. So I'll just say, uh, don't be afraid to draw larger. In fact, mm-hmm. you should try yeah. and draw larger. Is it, I'm, yeah, I'm only now noticing like the lines and how this, this, how tiny this is. Definitely agree with that. The reason drawing larger is great. You get a lot more arm movement. Stuff gets to be spread out more, so you can get those details in to yeah. help explain the picture more. Um, and you know they look better stuck up on a wall when it's a big picture than just a small thumbnail. That's about all I got for this one. Anyone else? That's all I got. I just like put the legs a bit for- further forward on the body because otherwise you've got this like. But it, like, what we don't want is to have the have the legs. I don't know if this is even coming up in the. the if this is actually on the screen, um, and then have this like body go like this. The head like that's not what the pony should be. The pony the neck should be here. Um, so I just like move the legs forward a little bit. And just made them a little bit more dynamic because the pony is very like I, I don't know if they're like a, a full out crochet version of like a synth or anything, but they're just like very like standing straight, 
um, with the legs rigidly together, and it looks a bit better to have them standing in a bit more of a balanced position. Otherwise, you can just poke them and they'll fall over. In fact, they're being having their head shot off by a gun, so I imagine they'll probably fall over. <laughs> yeah. Send and gravity. I, <laughs> I forgot, I did totally have something to mention. It's just the tail. You have a bit of a poop tail coming out, so like it's coming out around here, which is more the butt area, so we call that poop tail. We all do it. It's okay. We just learned to fix it. So really, it's uh, if we follow like the spine. It'll, oh, it's too low. Yeah. Spine will come out, come out top here. That's that's the fix I did. Yeah. So. I guess we don't have anything else to say. So, if anyone else has any pictures? Mm -hmm. Anyone have any questions in the chat, Rooney? Yeah, you don't have to have a picture necessarily. If you have like an art question, you can always ask us. We've had those before. Well, if we got nothing, remember there's an eggy going on. No, I don't have much pic any pictures to throw in because I have not been drawing much. I go in the game. That's a lie. <laughs> You've been drawing. I I've drawn. I drawn. Mm. What did I? What have I drawn since I got my new game? <laughs> I definitely got like the the notification from the bot in the tape server saying like you got it's th three days until your streak expires. <laughs> Galen, are you looking for that to be critiqued? The face sketches. Oh, I mentioned yeah. it to us before, but we weren't sure if you wanted to actually, if you want us to look at it or. Yeah, everybody. Like I said, the the crying one, super expressive. There's a fart in this URL. I feel like I want to like take that quote and like <laughs> save it somewhere. <laughs> I still like the bedroomized one. Like, I don't know what it is, but bedroomized just make even in like a non-sexual way. Bedroomized are great. I just really like the curve of the eye. They're just really attractive. That's what they're supposed to be. So they're doing their job. <laughs> Ellie, quick draw a pumpkin with bedroom eyes. Oh, you know it. I will. Or rare tato. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's that's what needs to happen. I mean, let's face it. <laughs> <laughs> she's she's too beautiful. You know, I don't think the world can handle. I'm kind of surprised you haven't made a plush version of the rare tato yet. I keep thinking about it, but then I also scare myself about a rare data plush. Just, just think of the hugs you could give it. Oh God! <laughs> could all the face elements be magnetic so we can play Mr. Potato Head with oh, a no. plush rare data? <laughs> oh God! That sounds terrifyingly wonderful. <laughs> All right. Uh, yeah, so just some quick thoughts. I tried different angle. Uh, I haven't done before, like, directly in front and profile. Wait, you haven't done profile? Weird. The profile one's my favorite. Both of them. Directly in front is hard. It's... Mm -hmm. It's hard. It's it doesn't yeah, it's not easy. lend itself to a natural feel for ponies. Mm -hmm. Especially because I we like, want to bring the eyes in. I feel mm. like a lot of people start out doing like I know I did anyway. When you you first start to like learn how to draw like anime faces or whatever, and like you're drawing them like front on because like that's the only th way you can like make sense of like the shapes. Like oh, this is how like the shape that makes an eye and everything is like so new to you, and then like like the idea of doing third quarter is so daunting unless you have an exact reference because like how do you make those like lines work because you don't like understand 3d space yet um but once you actually get into drawing so doing um doing third quarter and stuff just feels the most dynamic and versatile and you your understanding of 3d space makes it so much easier and then you get back to drawing a, a front on face and it's like oh god <laughs> none of my like the way that i make faces work around themselves None of these shapes work anymore. <laughs> They're just staring at your soul. Hmm. I do think, like, I when I looked at this um, earlier, when you shared it the first time, I I was just like, "Ooh, I, I love this." 
Like so much lovely thin outness. I, I especially love. I, I'm torn between the minty looking one on the bottom and the one to the left, the smiling. Um, I, spe I especially like the 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 middle bottom. It's like super super lovely expression work there. Lovely. It's like it's very very expressive, very soft. Like it's soft and subtle use of shapes and lines. You can feel like the face sort of the, the sort of bend and stretch of the face. Very soft. I love it. Mlem horse always wins for me. Mlem. Mlem. <laughs> I mean, that is always a good aspect. <laughs> <laughs> I think uh, the key to drawing, like um, front facing, because like I feel like three fourths. Once you once it clicks for you, what three fourths is, it's all you want to draw because it's yeah. more appealing. Um, but if if you're having trouble with side view or front view, the thing that you really just have to think about is the pure 3D structure of the face, because sometimes things can vary. Like right now, I see a lot of variation in size of muzzle, and I know the there's a stallion versus a a mare but um just positioning and shape and the eyes and where the nose bridge is and how it interacts like here on this side view we see the muzzle is like on point with the eye like if we just draw a little line it's kind of hitting that eye area and i know because the eyes are closed here they're a little um they're a little higher because just because how eyes close um but even still, that muzzle then would be a little higher. Just the con it's all about the consistency of the, the 3D shape of it all. And like over here, we have a stallion. And like it all could be character feature design, like, you know, having a smaller muzzle on one character versus another. But um, on here, on this stallion, we have about a muzzle right right where the eyelid is and then over here we have one where that red on that character will not <laughs> over here Bad we have choices. one that's so they're like right under the eye and they're like in the eye so it's it's really a matter of consistency for that Yeah, it's totally fine not to be consistent at the moment. But if you're looking for like uh, to make something more readable and believable, having the consistent idea mm -hmm. of a three D head shape, being able to turn that in any direction, really brings the believability to the table, even in a cartoon format. I do think like always consistency is going to be an issue, of course, um, <laughs> and something that needs to exist in something. Um, but I do think um, if you worried about consistency like over anything else and you, you can sometimes lose like the dynamicness of of things if you look at like animation um is that that middle penny i said i like most sort of reminds me of, of seeing a character like in animation showing like expression flowing and stuff like that um th those sort of things focus more on on everything looking dynamic and stretchy more than being consistent but i mean obviously you can have both it's just that takes a bit of practice um and you know you don't want to be someone who has like the like same face and like everything is the same, drawn exactly the same way with the same poses because you just want to be like consistent. And you're too afraid to like try doing anything differently. <laughs> so I don't think it's bad to have some a little bit of change between each each picture because that's how you really get the feel down in your hands. You know of like what feels right, what works, and what doesn't work. You got to like experiment and just let it drift back and forth just a little bit. You know what they say, learn the rules, consistency, and then learn how to break the rules. Yes. <laughs> Otherwise, if that is it, if anyone else has questions in the chat or art, I think that'll be it for today. CPC. <laughs> Leave it to her to draw the most wonderful thing. A pumpkin tato <laughs> bedroom eyes. Oh, of oh, CPC. You're a blessing. So, Allie. Yes. How much for a plushie of this? <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> All I'm picturing is, you know, in Steven Universe, how they have the pumpkin pet? Yep. Except mm -hmm. for a tato. 
and that's just they're stuck with that. All right, Lapis. we need to start drawing this fan art. Um... Yeah. <laughs> All right, well, it looks like we have no further art being tossed at us. Yeah. So, reminder, there is a Eggy going on with a Rarity getting sloshed and an unimpressed Luna, I'm going to say. She's unimpressed. It's like, damn it, Rarity. <laughs> it is 2 p.m. on a Wednesday. What's going on here? <laughs> The theme should just be clips from the outtakes that were put out. <laughs> Those are fun. <laughs> My friend did share one of them in the, the group. I was wondering what it was from. I haven't seen the video you sent me yet. <laughs> it's it's Pony saying, "Well, I can't say it on. I can't say it live, or no. we demonetize." Things, but we're, we're totally monetized, guys. <laughs> we make a fortune <laughs> here. I did get an email yesterday. Talking about adding ads to our videos. Oh my god. <laughs> YouTube. I'm like, we get like 14 views. That's not happening. That's like... <laughs> Come on. What? What am I supposed to do? You're supposed to save it up so one day we can get a penny. And, um... Yeah. We'll, we'll treasure that penny always. Uh... It's fine. It's fine. Uh... All right, we're done. Bye. <laughs> <laughs>